Okay. This is Tim Negrena speaking to the Yorker about the NUS motion. Tim, what do you think the main advantages are of York being affiliated to the NUS? I think the biggest uh, benefit is the you know, affiliation. Let's be absolutely clear, the NUS and UC have exactly the same aims and missions, and that is to benefit students, whether it's through the societies and sports that they get involved in, or whether it's defending their interests on a national level, or here on the ground at York when they're uh, asking for support for academic appeals. But they get involved in both those things, and that's an absolutely fundamental thing. I think the values there are absolutely more beneficial than any material aspects, the cost or anything that, that would, would ever come out of it. Don't you think that as a union officer you should remain impartial in, in referendums like this? I think uh, if a student select a, a candidate or someone who goes up for election, especially a president who doesn't represent a standpoint or a view, then you're not really voting for someone with a direction, you're voting for somebody who's basically going to be just sitting around, sitting on the fence, as I've sometimes been labelled actually, uh, you know, just with no view. I have a view. I state those views. If you ask me, any student asks me what my views are, I'm happy to state them at my personal level. As a representative, I'll represent the views of students. Um, if students feel that you know the president shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be doing this, and if, you know, quite frankly, they should come out and say so. But as far as I'm aware, and past presidents, students have always wanted their officers to come out and tell them the information. I've decided to go for the yes campaign, and some officers will decide to go for no campaign, and that's absolutely right. Okay. Um, don't you think the recent debacle over Aaron Porter's resignation has revealed the dark underbelly of the NUS and will turn students off the NUS? Aaron Porter didn't resign, he just chose not to rerun. Okay, he might have broken the, you know, the, 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 the swift of things by not running twice, but you know what, I think that's great because we've got now got Liam Burns who is showing some new direction, some new taste and also an executive officer team that's also showing that same direction. I think it's time, we've got challenging times ahead and we do need to maybe a change of directions. I think he, he wisely chose to, to not carry on because he was very much the focus of attention when he was part of the NUS and I can see why he decided to not uh, run again. Okay, and just finally, don't you think we should have more than four directly elected delegates who can represent York at the NUS and have a much bigger influence on our universities? I do, um, I totally do, you know, and uh, the reason that that's number is four is purely because if we were, let's say, if we were to take all our students all the way through there, we wouldn't be able to fit in a conference office, and unfortunately you do have to sit down and debate these things as a national movement, and so four is the number that's delegated to York. Um, on whether you think uh, you know the NUS president should be elected by all students, I think that is quite a positive move forward. That was something that was discussed at conference, and I'm sure will come up again. Uh, but I do think students are represented because you know what they elect three thousand students voted for the NUS delegates this year, and each and every one of those would more than happily stand up and say why each and everything they voted for is going to benefit York students. And for the last two years, we've had students and officers from York running to represent uh, a high level in. NUS. We had Charlie Leyland running for uh, education officer and we also had Tom Byrne, who's just the first year student who quite bravely went on and then for senior president, all credits to them, representing York and I think York students should be proud of that. This is an interview for the Yorker with Alan Belmore about the NUS referendum. Alan, why do you believe York shouldn't be affiliated with the NUS? Look, we've got to see, why do we, what's the point of being? Uh, affiliated with this body. We give it loads of money uh, every year uh, and this is money that could be spent on our societies, it could be spent on our sports club, but instead we're throwing it into this national body which doesn't really represent students. There's only four York students for example that get to choose who the NUS president is. It's absurd. We don't really have a say in NUS. What they want is our money. They give us a few uh, token offerings that don't really appease most of the, or don't help most of the student population and you know and we don't actually really get a proper say in the NUS. Indeed last week the NUS passed a policy to about uh, Palestinian, uh, Palestinian education uh, and sending students to, to, to go against uh, an Israeli blockade of Palestine. This is the NUS, we're students and they're, they're pretending to represent us 7 million but what they're really interested in is getting their seats uh, in the House of Parliament when they're older, they're all in it for their careers. We should get out and start spending our money on things like sports societies and, uh, and uh, you know, also things, just our societies. Think of all the societies that didn't get the grants they want to this year and think how much more money there'd have been available in the pot had we not been siphoning off thousands and thousands uh, to the NUS. So do you think USU officers should re, uh, remain impartial and shouldn't be campaigning over this? What USU officers do is up to them. I think uh, they should be out there representing the interests of students. I don't believe <laughs> being a part of the NUS is, is in the interest of students, but ultimately that's their decision and, uh, and they've got to make it.
Do you think students have been turned off recently by the NUS? The problem with the NUS is it's full of all these kind of political hacks that aren't really connected to you or me. They're not really uh, interested in the, the proper interest of students. And I think when we saw this outrage at uh, Aaron Porter condemning the riots on the streets of London and that, you know, these NUS hacks were, you know, viscerally attacking him for just, you know, saying that violence is unacceptable. I don't think that chimed well with a lot of students around here. And I think a lot of students aren't really interested in all this bickering and uh, factionalism that goes on. In fact, what they're interested in is their student experience. And perhaps if the NUS spent a little less time bickering over what their leaders should be saying and more about concerning, you know, what we're doing on our degrees. It's talking about how students are trying to get by with very little money, all the stress we're under at exam times. They're not talking about that. They're talking about pleading what Aaron Porter says, condemning cuts. It's not important. And we're just giving money to this organisation that I don't see any point doing it. You soon do a fantastic job here on the ground and they continue doing it without NUS. And just finally, there are lots of positives that come from the NUS, such as grants and training for youth officers. Don't you think we'd be missing out if we uh, dis uh, disassociated ourselves? Well, you've got to really think, how important are they? On the big grand scheme of things, how much is y are you or I going to miss? Because we're not the, our youth officers aren't getting a specific bit of training from the NUS. They could. And is it, are, they, are we really getting value for money? Then these are training officers might, or courses might be offered, but how much needed are they really? What we should be looking at, actually, is um, getting the real benefits that we have. Durham, for example, uh, disaffiliated from the NUS a couple of years ago, after I must, uh, must add, after the NUS uh, threatened their students' union simply because they invited a speaker to, the, to speak at the university that they disagreed with. Uh, so they left the NUS. Durham, has anyone seen any problems with Durham University? I don't think so. The Durham uh, Students' Union is still going strong, still doing well, still serving its students. It doesn't need the body like the NUS, who are more interested in their own careers than us students. Uh, it, it's, it's ludicrous that we're still a member of this body, and this is a great opportunity for York to leave and start focusing on the issues that matter.